Hey, I love you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a full day of eating. Um, I just want to kind of get back to more of my roots <laughs> on YouTube. So I've been really, really focusing on TikTok lately. If you guys don't follow me, make sure you do. I'm posting like eight videos a day and I'm doing a series right now, which is I'm sharing 30 tips in 30 days to make your life easier just with like tips and tricks that I do as a dietitian. So make sure you follow me along there. I'm also reposting a lot of them to Instagram. So if you don't have TikTok, follow me there as well. But I'm really trying to just like streamline my content more. So I love vlogging and I love sharing more of my life with you and like my life with Matt. And I think you guys like that too. But I don't want to pull away from what I'm knowledgeable about and like eating and food and being a dietitian and all that. So I found out that TikTok is where I love to share my quick little tips because I don't have to like sit down and edit a whole video. It's really easy, all that, it's very quick. But on YouTube, I feel like I can go in more in depth in like a full day of eating, like what I actually eat, different recipes, and then also incorporate little like just tidbits in my life. So that's how I'm kind of breaking up my content. And then I can also do like sit down videos, like empties and all that. That was a long story, but I want to kind of walk you through an example of, I'll try to show you everything I eat in a day, okay? Well, also, being realistic. Not every day is the same. I'm not saying you should eat like this because obviously we're all different. I make these videos to give you guys ideas of things you can eat because y'all know I am not chef out here cooking up a two hour dinner. Like everything is very quick for me. Convenient to the point. So I hope that makes sense and let's just get into what I'm eating. So every morning I'm obsessed with my new water bottle from Amazon. It's massive. They have a smaller size if you don't want this big of size, but chugging water, chug, chug, chug. Then I'm still trying out my athletic greens. I'll let you guys know. I still, I wanna try like at least a month or two of it before I recommend it or tell you my thoughts, just like with a lot of supplements that I do. Um, like I just don't want you to get ripped off. Like is it worth it or not? I'm gonna let you know. So I have, not, I'm almost at the bottom of the, my first canister. So I do a scoop of this and then a scoop of my care of uh, red powder. This is just like a vitamin C powder. Also, I'm feeling much better. I really do think that the way I take care of myself when I am sick, I, I weirdly see it as like a challenge. I'm like, I can get better quickly. And I just focus on eating whole foods, focusing on my greens, um, fiber, protein, just really eating a, like a whole foods diet and I really see a difference when I really focus on that when I am sick So that's what I drink in the morning. I'll also Sometimes I'll do a scoop uh, or a squeeze of lemon in here as well So I start my days with athletic greens one scoop and one scoop of the soup berries What I started doing now was my aloe vera juice that I have in the fridge from Trader Joe's the big jug I'll do a cup of that and I'll mix my greens and reds into the aloe vera juice so it's like such a a cocktail in that way and I'll just chug that so everything's done off the beginning if I don't do the other if you don't want to do aloe vera juice just do water okay cold water I guess we can just do supplements too since I'm already in here um, I started recently taking a magnesium supplement there is a lot of studies that show this can help with craving sweets and um, it's just great for sleep for regulation there's a bunch of different types of magnesium but uh, this is the one I'm taking. Then I take my ritual vitamin. I also think everyone should be taking omegas, whether that's through a multivitamin or supplementing. Omegas are super important. You also get it through wild fish, wild caught fish, which is amazing. Um, what else? I've taken zinc, vitamin A. All these are just great. Zinc is really good for when you are sick. Um, for your immune and then also if you have any wounds zinc is great for wound healing and then vitamin C is in the super berry powder And then I get so much vitamin C throughout the day just from eating veggies fruits and so forth um, I don't supplement it at all. Okay, so that's my morning stack I always walk Herman in the morning so I get some steps in I've been really into going on long walks lately too, like a hawker walk um, and just listen to a podcast. So doing about an hour walk and then I'm still doing my Pilates classes and then F45. So I'll typically do like one F45 cardio day a week and then about two strength days. 
and then I'll do two to three Pilates in that. And then on the days where I just do Pilates, I'll walk just to get some extra steps in. I genuinely like the walking because I work from home and I don't get any steps in. <laughs> so it's nice to just get outside as well. Also, someone wanted, someone commented that they wanted to see a, a day in the life of me when I'm coaching at F45 and like actually how, what it's like to be a coach at F45. So I'm gonna do that as well. So stay tuned for that. I went to Whole Foods if you guys saw my last video. All right, you guys, I just went to Whole Foods and you might be asking yourself, Blair, didn't you just go to HEB like two days ago? And you're, you would be correct. Yeah. Um, I just, I was on my way home from my walk. I'm wearing just this Amazon set. And all I wanted was kale and carrots. And I got those things, so don't worry, I didn't forget them. But then I got a lot of other things, so I'm gonna quickly show you. I got the kale, more kale, and another one of these navy beans for that uh, Erewhon Emma Chamberlain salad that I shared on my TikTok. I uh, got more baby carrots for hummus, and then also to dip in our bitchin' sauce. I love this stuff. It is bitchin', in fact. These yellow mangoes, again, I'm obsessed with. I think I have like two left. I just go through them so fast. Peaches were on sale, and these looked so good. I wanna try out some wild rice. Needed some more coffee, got this organic vanilla. They didn't have any Dunkin' Donuts uh, hazelnut coffee, which is my favorite. But I mean, we're not surprised because I feel like Whole Foods wouldn't let Dunkin' Donuts touch them with a 10 foot pole. They're, they definitely give me Starbucks vibes at Whole Foods. Um, got some silken tofu to eat this, just cold with sesame oil, soy sauce, sriracha, everything with bagel, seasoning, green onions. It's so good, you have to get the silken one. Okay. Then I got a little wild, okay? I was hungry after my hot girl walk. I have not eaten anything today. Um, so I wanted to try out sardines. I don't know, sardines are a great source of calcium because they have the little bones in them still. But I was in the aisle because I needed more tuna. Um, so I got two cans of tuna because I'm doing that, sharing my, how I, well, on my TikTok, if you guys don't know, I'm starting to be really active on TikTok. I posted seven times yesterday. Recipes, tips, random thoughts, unpopular opinions, all that. Um, this haul will also be up there. But I am sharing 30 tips in 30 days on just like random tips and tricks that I do. And I'm sharing three different ways how I make my tuna. So I needed more tuna. Then when I was there, I got inspired, saw this salmon, always get wild caught. That's when the sardines came because they were in the same section, all right? Then these little bars were on sale. These are the Nugo Slim Vegan Chocolate Mint, 17 grams of protein. I've had them before and I remember liking them, so I got four. Then I got coconut water. This one's a mini size. I've never tried this coconut water, but I see everyone and their mother like are obsessed with it. I don't know, It was. it's good. I tried a little bit, it's good. It's coconut, I like coconut. If you don't like coconut, you might not like it, but I, I don't really drink coconut water often, so I'm not really aware of what's out there. The next two things are what I'm most excited about. Grillo's spicy pickles. Okay, we know the, this, the Grillo's pickles are the best, but have you had the hot ones? Have you? They're elite, and these are the Spears. My favorite snack. Then, you guys know my feelings towards Bonza pasta. We love her. Okay, stock up. I got four boxes, but they came out with a new shape. Boom. Are you kidding? Can you see that? Look at focus on that, not me. Maybe on the back it'll be easier for you to see. Do you see that? Magic? Cascatelli? I don't know. I'm Italian, but <laughs> I just like the food. That's where it starts and ends. Okay, I don't speak it. And then. I, the other thing I got is from TikTok. I saw that everyone and their mother was losing their mind over this birthday blondie almond milk non-dairy frozen dessert. So I'm gonna try this and let you know how I think. I love, and then I also just got another one. This is one of my favorite ice creams, the Oatly Fudge Brownie. I like just having these in my freezer. Whenever I feel like I get only a little scoop of something sweet, it's there for me. When I got some of these peaches, I'm gonna have a peach right now. I just I love when they come in these little green containers. I feel like I, I grew them myself. Um, so we're gonna have that. And then my avocados are ripe. 
So I'm gonna make some avocado toast. I do half avocado on um, Mike's Killer Bread. That's my favorite bread right now. I toast it up, it's so good. And then I'll also cook up two eggs for some protein. So that is my meal, two eggs, half avocado, slice of bread that has like a whole grain bread, lots of fiber, and then a peach for some fruit. Oh, hey, I just realized I didn't show you my eggs, but my eggs and avocado toast, but like I said, one piece of Mike's Killer Bread, half an avocado on it, two over easy, or over medium eggs. And then here's my peach that I'm eating now while I'm editing and looking at this lovely specimen. I decided on what I want to make for my dietitian tip today on my TikTok. I'm gonna make my chia seed jam and I will show you guys and as well as TikTok, but it's in my cookbook. If you guys don't, it's so easy. You take, I'll tell you now. Any berries you want, I usually like to do raspberries, but any frozen berries, I prefer frozen, about a cup of frozen berries, defrost them, they get mushy, mash them down, add about a tablespoon or so of chia seeds, mix them up. You don't even have to add any liquid. You can add a little water if you want, but like the melted, the reason why you use frozen is because it has that like liquid in it. Um, if you were to use fresh berries, add a little bit of water just to mix it up. Mix it up, let the chia seeds gelatinize, and then it's like this amazing chia jam. So easy. If you want some more sweetness, you can add like honey or maple syrup or something like that. But it's basically just an easier, quicker way to make chia or to make jam or like jelly for peanut butter and jellies. I put on yogurt, um, bread, like toast, like literally anything you put a jelly on. So that's gonna be my tip today. Making a coffee right now. So I use this coffee right now from Whole Foods, honestly, because I was out and I happened to be at Whole Foods. Any flavored coffee I'm fine with and not too dark of a roast. So I like this. And then my milks. So I have a frother. This almond milk, the almond breeze froths up the best. Okay, so I put that in my frother to froth. This one, the coconut milk, does not froth well, but I like the taste of it. So I add it to the actual coffee. And uh, that might seem like a lot of cough or a lot of milk, but I do about a cup total between the two of these, which is typically a serving size. Yeah, like 40 cows for a cup. This is what, 50 cows? Yeah, 50 cows for a cup. So I do about a cup total, and then I do one cup of coffee. I just roast at a time. But one of my tips that I shared, okay, so one of my tips, my coffee maker has like a little scoop on the side, so I'm just gonna do, I'll make two cups. So two scoops of coffee. And then to that I add a little bit of cinnamon on the top. And that just adds a little extra, extra flavor. And then I brew it like normal and then I add my milks. I'll add a little stevia too. I have this vanilla cream one from Thrive Market that I got. But I also really love, if you're at Trader Joe's, this one. It's not flavored, but it's still really good. Um, yeah, that is my coffee setup. So I'm gonna make this right now too. It's noon now, so I've been working all morning. I'm still pretty full from my breakfast, but when I do make lunch, I'll show you. Um, I think I'm gonna film my, I'm gonna film my dietitian tip now. Like, yeah. make my coffee, get a little caffeinated, ready to film, <laughs> and then film my little chia jam. Have that as a snack, so that'll probably push off lunch a little bit more. Mm. It depends. We'll see. Because it does have to set up a little bit. I'm just not that hungry right now, and that's the truth. All right, I just got my Good Chop box in the mail, so I wanted to unbox it with you and see what we got for this month. I get so many questions as a dietitian about people being like so overwhelmed when they're in the grocery store. Like, what meat should I be picking? What seafood's the best for me? Like, wild caught, farm raised, all these questions, which are so valid. Um, and it is really overwhelming, I feel like, in the grocery store these days with all the options that you get. You guys know I love grocery shopping more than the normal person, but something about like going to the meat section and just being overwhelmed, because to be honest, it overwhelms me too. It's not fun for me. You know, I love going to the produce section, picking out my snacks, 
Um, but when it comes to the meats, usually Matt picks them out, honestly, from the store. Or I love to order from Good Shop. Good Shop offers convenient delivery right to your door. Um, it's a fully customizable experience. You literally go on their website and there are so many options. All their seafood's wild caught, sustainably caught. They have 100% like grass-fed ribeyes. There's so many options for you guys. And you can always know that the meats or seafood that you're getting are super, super high quality. So it just takes the guesswork out which is my favorite part. Okay, so let's see what we got. Oh man, this month I got a mix of beef and seafood. We have a ton of chicken in the freezer already, back stocked, so we didn't need any chicken. These are all grass-fed, wild-caught, sustainable. The Chops is also amazing because they have 100% money-back guarantee, so if you're not happy for whatever reason, you're getting money back. All right, let's see what we got. Grocery haul. I got beef top sirloin steaks, four of these. You guys, Matt is gonna... Love. This is like Matt's favorite delivery. We got two filet mignons. Look at those. Ugh. The marbling on them is also so great. All right, what do we got here? Two beef ranch steaks. Everything comes frozen, well packaged, so it stays well at your door. Two ribeyes. Look at that marbling and that fat cap. Yum. Okay, and now for the seafood, I got North Atlantic scallops. Wild caught sockeye salmon. Oh man, I'm excited. I really wanna make that salmon, the crispy Asian salmon cubes that I made before. So good. And then finally we got some Pacific cod. Just an easy white fish, love making fish tacos with this. Um, miso glazed cod is one of my favorite meals as well. So I'll show you guys when we make these for dinner, what we decide to make. So if you guys want to try out Good Chop, you can go to goodchop.com and use code BLAIRY100 or click the link in the caption below to get $100 off your first three boxes today. Guys, uh, same freaking finger as last time, nail popped off. <sighs> I mean, my nails are extremely grown out right now. Like, don't judge my cuticles. Look at how grown my nails out. I mean, like, wow, grown out my nails are. I need to get them done, but that just like really made it happen faster than I need, I wanted it to. I'm currently trying to find a videographer and photographer for our wedding that we're having in Cabo. So that is like really stressful. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I apparently need to now go get my nail fixed, but I'm going to Cabo in two weeks. I guess I'll get my nails done today. And then by the time I go to Cabo, I can get like, Freshly done again. I don't know. It's like that awkward time. Okay, whatever. That's what I'm doing. I also want to self tan. So I'm going to self tan, film dietitian tip number eight for TikTok, go get my nails done, and then I have a Pilates class at 5 30, so I'll work in between then. All right, just self tanned. I'm going to eat this leftover pasta that I made last night. It's just Bonza pasta in their new shape. Like, look how cool this new shape is. I don't know why I'm using a knife. Um, but I shared it on my TikTok again. And in that Whole Foods haul, I got four boxes of it. Uh, this was a tip that I showed how to cook your broccoli as well as your pasta at the same time. One pot. Um, so I'm gonna eat the rest of that. And then I've been obsessed with these mangoes. This is ginormous, guys, this one mango. But I'm going to eat this. It's called a what, champagne? Yeah, champagne mango. They're on sale at Whole Foods. They're so good. What I do is this has a pit that runs like my hand, like how it's running. So I cut on each side of the pit and I'll show you what I do. There's the pit. Then I just do lines like this, this, and this. Whoa. And then, you just eat, like that. And for my pit, I just peel the sides off, like this. Peel the sides off, and you can see the pit here. And I just eat what's left around it. All right, well, this is the Chia Jam. A look at how good that looks. My favorite way to eat it is with just apple slices with almond butter or peanut butter and then dip it. I also eat it plain. Whoa. 
It's so good. I, I just like, I could eat this all day. Like literally. I love mixing or make, using chia seeds in this way because the chia seeds resemble the seeds that are in berries naturally, like raspberries and blackberries and strawberries, like that crunchy little seed. And it's just a really seamless way to incorporate them in a recipe. This is like the play on the internal shower drink that's like going viral on TikTok. It's basically the same thing. So what I did was I did a cup of frozen berries. I like frozen specifically, first off, it's cheaper. Um, cheaper to get organic and it's more sustainable like you just throw them in your freezer so I do a cup of frozen berries microwave them for 45 seconds to defrost them mash them down with a fork add two tablespoons of chia seeds half of juice of a lemon if you want a little sweetness add a splash of maple syrup or honey mix it up pop in the fridge for like 30 minutes to an hour until you get this consistency and there you go it's like a very true day of eating for like a food blogger influence or whatever. Like we make all these meals and like we have to eat them, you know? So it's, I'm snacking a lot because it's hard to have just like one big meal because I know I'm gonna be eating kind of a lot and I snack as I go, that's just like what I do. I taste to make sure like the ratios are good and everything. About to go to a Pilates class. And this is what I'm wearing. These leggings are from a set from Amazon. They're so comfortable, like, like this mauve color. And then top is a Lululemon Align dupe. So that is my outfit. I'm gonna walk her really quick. And then we're gonna go. I, oh, here are my socks, the Pilates socks. I've just been responding to comments on my TikTok and answering emails and I've been emailing back and forth with a few photographer and videographers but I'm still not finding anyone and if you haven't I don't know I, I I know they're expensive obviously like I want someone who has great work but they're just like for a photographer alone it's like eight grand I'm like okay I need a photographer and a videographer I can't be spending eight grand on just a photographer that's crazy to me. So I need to figure that out. And I'm still trying to, also dates, people are booked. Like two people I reached out to were booked already. So I really need to figure that out. All right, you guys, we are making the steaks tonight. Well, we're gonna make one ribeye and then I'll show you. We have some oysters left oysters. over. Oysters. Fun fact, at Whole Foods, if you go on Friday, their oysters are a dollar each, even like the East Coast good ones. So we have like a few oysters left over, so we're gonna do kinda like a little surf and turf. We have a few oysters, we're just gonna put lemon and hot sauce on it, Matt will shuck them. Then we have leftover Mexican food. So we're gonna also eat this. There's just like rice and beans and tortillas. I ate the chicken and steak out of it. Alrighty, and we had a tamale. So we're gonna have these leftovers, so we can make like steak burritos, but then also, Matt is gonna cook up this ribeye with Kerrygold, he made some herb butter, and then he also has rosemary and thyme leftover with some oil on a cast iron, salt and pepper, it's gonna be so good, so I'll show you the final product. Working with some very unstable herbs. Working with some very unstable herbs. Shucking some oysters. Wow, so much happening on the counters. <laughs> a beaut. A little lemon, a little hot sauce. Phenomenal. Got the steak. The perfect bite. Unexpected cheddar cheese, a pita cracker, a sliced apple, and some hot honey. Herm wants in. Yeah? Hey. Put your real hands on the thing. I don't have anything. You, your crazy eyes showing. Your one crazy eye is showing. <laughs> wow, that is stunning. Herb butter, rosemary thyme. All done. So freaking good. So we're gonna split this. Sorry, I have bread in my mouth. <laughs> we're gonna split this, not with Herm, even though he wants it. We're eating some 
focaccia bread, or no wait, rosemary sourdough from Whole Foods. Dipping it in olive oil, truffle oil, and balsamic glaze with salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, so good. And then we're eating with the leftover Mexican and a random one more oyster left. So it's definitely a random, yeah, smorgasbord. How do you say that? Smorg. No, super complex, it looks like it's real and Ah, that's why. It's, yeah, it's the part of people. Yeah, oh no. Picked the worst piece to grab. Perfectly cooked. Medium rare. Oh yeah. Mmm. Wow. So, so good. That's some good beef. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I mean, that's nice. That's so nice. I told him that you always shop, like, you get the meats and I get, like, everything else, basically, but I'm like, you have the meats. Because <laughs> you have the patience to, like, look at everything. I'm, like, overwhelmed. I wish we could give her a, a piece. Sorry, bubs. But seriously, it's so good. So good, just plain. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna eat now. <laughs>